Hey, it's Frank, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool trick that I found. Um, I have a network server in my office here. It's a Drobo. It's a device that allows me to have multiple drives, and I can write everything, whether I'm on my PC or my desktop or uh, my Mac or whatever. And found out recently that the file application uh, on the tablet or my phone uh, in iOS will allow me to connect to that server. I was always wanted to have that option but uh, for some reason or another it just didn't. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the file folder here um, and it's it's pulled this up and if you look up here in the upper left near the center there's the three blue dots. If I click on that it has an option to connect to server. And I, I have a, uh, of course it has a recent server there. Um, if you didn't have that listed there, I would have to put in the the IP address there. So I would click in, I would type in the uh, 192.168.1.86 and click connect. And then it would ask for the username and password for that. Once I've entered that, I would click next and then it disconnects it connects to my server um, so I can see any of the music or movies uh, you know if I wanted to watch a movie that I had on there there's different movies that I've uh, that I've had digitally that um, I have on there or I could uh, get into my public folder which it's not really public but it's it's just for me I have my website projects here um, I have all my servers or customers uh, sites on there so I could actually just open up one of the different sites that I'm wanting to work on. Uh, maybe I'm wanting to work on something for this site. I can then open up that up and then access any of the files that I need for that. Um, you can see the different Photoshop files or the different things that I need and I can just access those uh, via my tablet now instead of having to work on it for my, my PC or my laptop or whatever that I'm doing. So that comes in real handy. And of course, uh, if you want to disconnect, it's just like c disconnecting anything else. You can click on it and it has the uh, arrow there to disconnect that drive if you decided to do that. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, I know I did. And um, I'll be back with another video soon.